Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you how to debug compile time errors by using block comments. The idea here is that we're going to comment out all of our code, right? So that way we can at least compile something, right? And then what we'll do is, is we'll uncomment a little bit of code at a time, maybe a couple lines at a time recompile right to see if we still have issues and if we do uh, we'll fix those issues one bit at a time okay or a couple lines at a time all right so here we go i wrote a brief little program here that's going to ask the users to enter in a series of numbers okay and a um, series of test scores actually and based on those numbers at the end, we're gonna find the average and display that to the user, okay? But for this video, I broke my code quite a lot, put a whole bunch of errors inside of here, so that way I can show you how we can, you know, fix these errors, debug our code a couple lines at a time, all right? So, using Visual Studio, but I mean, this technique is gonna work for any IDE, uh, if you're, even if you're not using an IDE at all, okay? So, you can see that if I go to compile this, right, I'm gonna have a, just a buttload of errors, right? I got all these errors here and what a mess, okay? So with this technique, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use block comments, right? So let me comment out, I mean, everything, right? Because as of right now, I have no idea, right, what exactly is causing the problem. So I comment out everything and then try to recompile okay so compiled this time no problem you know with visual studio that window just flashes open and, and closes okay so i know that whatever bugs whatever bugs are causing me to not be able to compile um, they have to be in between the opening and closing comments right so what i'll do is is i'll just make this block a little smaller okay and then recompile and i'll go through and bring my comments or make my comments block smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and fix things as I go until the compile time errors are fixed, okay? So, until I can compile successfully, all right? So, I then come into these two lines, all right? Now let's try to recompile, okay? Bam, build errors, right? So I know that any problems that I have or any syntactical errors, compile time errors I have must be caused by these two lines. Right, so that allows me to narrow down exactly where the problem is. So I look here, and uh, looking at these two lines, I can see, oh, look, you know, it's, it kind of sticks out at you now if you only have to look at two lines instead of, you know, 50. I forgot a semicolon there, right? So that's my hypothesis, that that's one of my compile time errors. So let's test it by doing a fix, and my hypothesis is that if, that if I um, put a semicolon there, I'm gonna fix this thing, right? So let's try to compile again. Compiled, ran, awesome, no errors. Okay, so that fixed one compile time error. So let us uncomment out, out a couple more things, right? And, you know, do a couple lines at a time, do four lines at a time, you know, um, whatever. I mean, the, the, the more you uncomment out each iteration, I guess you could say, the more lines you'll have to take a look at, right? But, you know, the faster you possibly could, could finish. Okay, so anyway, I uncommented out four more lines. Go to compile, sure enough, compile time errors. And I uncommented out these four lines. So the bug, you know, the syntax clear must be in one of these four lines, right? Because that's the lines that I uncommented. They're the new lines getting compiled. So I take a look, uh, line 11 looks okay to me. Uh, line 12, got a, got a variable here that doesn't have a data type. So let's fix that. Okay, I'm gonna make that a double, okay. Now let's try to compile again, see if that fixed everything. Nope, not yet, not done yet, right? I got a couple more compile time errors here. So look at the other two lines and looks like I got a couple problems. Line 15, forgetting my stream operator here, stream insertion operator. And looks like I'm missing a closing quotes and a semicolon here. So let's try to compile again. Okay, so we fixed those two compile time errors. Okay, let's move the comments down some more. Okay, we'll uncomment out um, these next two lines. 
Okay. And then try to compile again. Build errors. Must be some problems with these new two new lines that I that I commented out, right? So I look at line 19. That looks okay. Line 20. Oh, I'm missing a angle bracket in my stream extraction operator, right? So let's compile again. Okay, cool. I'm getting I'm getting closer. Okay, compiles. There's actually something for me to see on the screen this time. Right, nothing too exciting because I haven't finished the whole program, but I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. All right, so let me um, uncomment out this entire while loop here. We'll just debug this while loop structure all at once. Okay, so go to compile up. Still a problem. So let's take a look here. Uh, take a look at line 25. Up, oh, that's an error. That's not a valid relational operator. So. Let's fix that. And then what's going on with this? Oh, okay. I wanted to use the angle bracket as my prompt. So it looks like I'm missing a semicolon or a parentheses there. Looks like I'm missing C in here. Okay, so I made some edits. I think that's gonna fix it. Let's give it another shot. Okay, cool, compiles. We're getting closer. All right, and that loop's doing its thing. Negative 99 to exit. Getting closer a little bit at a time. Okay, so let's only comment out the if block and try to recompile. Okay. I've still got some compile time errors, right? So there must be some syntax errors in this block. So let's take a look. If count greater than, well, this is a problem. This isn't a valid expression. I wanted it to be count greater than zero, right? Because what was happening was is every time the user entered a number, I was keeping count of how many numbers they entered, so that way I can use that to find my average after all is said and done, right? Because I'm going to take every number that the user gives me, sum those up, and divide it by this count. Okay, anyway, so I'm, that's my fix for that. Take a look at line 38. Um, static cast operator requires angle brackets here, not parentheses. So let's fix that. And then it looks like I forgot the C in my C out statement here, so let's fix that. Okay, so let's go ahead and compile. Try it again, all right. Compile works, looks like my compile time error is gone. So let us now put in a couple numbers here and see if things are looking good, all right? So window closed, Visual Studio does that. The last part of my code that I have to debug, I got a, some code in there to pause, keep that window open, but Pile time error, gone, right? I've debugged, you know, probably 80% of my syntax errors at this point keep me from compiling. So let's finish off this bad boy. All right, so what I'll have to do now is look at these three lines right here, right? By debugging a little chunk at a time, taking this divide and conquer approach where I'm not having to debug, you know, 46, 47 lines all at once, just doing it three lines at a time. Three lines at a time. Fix, take a look at one little piece, debug or uh, uncomment out three lines, four lines, try to recompile, see if that you know is a problem with those four lines, or if, or, or if we won't compile with those four lines. If we don't, then I know that those four lines that are just uncommented, they must be the problem, right? Fix those, right? Or or make my edits, recompile, test it, make sure it works. If it does, great. Let's uncome on out the next few lines and then repeat the process until we get to the end. Anyway, so these last four lines here, line 42 looks fine. Line 44 just comments. That obviously can't be the problem. There is no such thing as synagnor, right? Or synagnor? I don't know how you pronounce that. So it should be C and dot ignore, right? It's part of my pause code to keep, um, to keep my window open at the end. Oh, um, Visual Studio is giving me a little bit of help here. And I forgot that there should be a semicolon right here too. Okay, so then let us compile and run this thing and see if that fixes it. Well, no more compile time errors. So let us let just verify things here. Okay, negative 99 terminates my average 64.333, three, right? Um, and I got that average from this little block of code here. There's my goodbye there. Windows still from there. Looks like everything 
works great. Okay, so in summary, the idea is if you have some code and can't compile for whatever reason, you're not sure why or, or where the error is, block out all of your code, recompile, right? Just to make sure that, you know, you, so you can get to a good starting point. And then just unblock or uncomment out um, or uncomment three, four lines at a time, recompile. If your code compiles, then you know it's not those four lines. If it doesn't, then you know that there's a problem with those four lines. Fix them, verify your fix, then uncomment out the next four lines. Right? Lather, rinse, repeat until all of your compile time errors are gone. Okay. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you do um, have any questions, please feel free to stop by my office hours or shoot me an email. All right. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.